the last season of life has left an indelible mark on a generation. We're more aware than ever before that there's a fragility to our humanness. Today, many of us are more vulnerable, insulated, cautious, skeptical, afraid, and reluctant than we were a year ago. And there's an impulse to withdraw into the safest places we can find and forfeit the adventures that we were designed to live. The only problem with that logic is that we are human. We're not created to isolate. We're made to live in community. Sure, there, there's a temptation to do whatever we can to return to some sort of normality. But what if an attempt to return to the way things were could actually prevent us from returning to the way things were intended to be. Remember, when God became human, it wasn't to prove his divinity. He could have done that from a distance. Instead, Jesus became human to prove the worth of humanity. Think about what Jesus did. Jesus became human so he could invite humans to see themselves the way God saw them, to prove there was more to the human life than just existing, to appeal to the image of God in every human, and Jesus became human to show humans how they should treat humans. Jesus challenged an entire generation to return to a version of faith and community that humanity was designed to experience. When Jesus showed up in a culture that was struggling with political unrest and racial division and religious abuse, he disrupted a hurting and skeptical world with hope. Everything Jesus said and did then is still true now. And if you're listening to this, we believe you could be the best chance a kid or teenager has to experience that kind of hope. This generation desperately needs a new demonstration of faith, church, leadership, and community that is more human than what has existed. So keep leading with that end in mind. We need leaders who will model a faith that shows them how to be kind, to be resilient, to be courageous, to be compassionate, to be generous, to be human. That's why Orange Conference 2022 is an invitation, an invitation to gather in a way we have never before. Every voice, every song, every message, every breakout, every resource will be designed to challenge us to reimagine what we do as the church. That's why the question is not only if you're ready to be human again, but also are you ready to be with humans again? This is a pivotal moment in the church, and we are designing the Orange Conference so you can connect with leaders who are doing what you do, collaborate with diverse thinkers so you can see what you don't see, and challenge what has been normal so we can return to what is more human. So in a generation where technology, and politics, and even religion can be seen as dehumanizing to so many, we believe it's critical to remember what Jesus called us to be. We won't get many chances to reset how this generation sees the church, but there's one thing we know for sure. Proximity changes everything. And if we can get close enough to each other, then maybe we can get clear enough to make the changes that will really matter. What we do next matters more than it ever has. We can't simply return to normal. Now is the time to return to the reason why Jesus showed up in the first place. Now is the time to rebuild trust with a generation who has become disillusioned. And now is the time to revive the hope that Jesus actually offers humanity. So let's do that together because we are the church. And this generation is looking for a version of the church that is kinder, more empathetic, and more aware of what is happening in their everyday world. Your community is looking for a church that cares about the questions humans are actually asking. Now is the time to be a little more human. And here's why. The best way to learn how to lead humans to be more human is to spend time with humans who lead humans.